Hello everybody, welcome to Tanya Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for being here with me. We are going to do a reading for Valentine's Day. This could apply a couple days before, a couple days after. It's just energy, you guys, uh, for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Virgo. Um, if this does not apply, because it's a general reading, don't try to make it apply. Don't try to make it fit. It's a general reading. Check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? And Virgo. Let's see what comes out for you. Two of fire. A lot of people are getting twos. Twos, twos, twos. Making decisions about stuff. Having to go in a new direction. Which direction will I choose? Two of fire. I feel like this is like you've been on this journey for a little while, Virgo. You've been on this journey for a little while. And you might be coming to the end where you have to actually make a decision. Am I staying on this giraffe or am I getting off? Am I staying on the giraffe or am I getting off? Is it time, Virgo? Let's pull an oracle card for you. For Virgo, Valentine's Day or season. For Virgo, too many this one. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Okay. So that's good encouragement. <clears throat> Some of you guys might be artists. Some of you guys might like to paint, draw. Some of you guys might be very creative. It's a very creative card on the split. You might be in your head about something right now, Virgo. Some sort of mental imprisonment, the high priestess. You have some sort of gut feeling about something. you're going to make it through this. Some of you guys might be actually going through something that's stressing you out, giving you a lot of anxiety at this time. For Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo, please. Seven of Wands, yeah, feeling like defensive, like you got to defend yourself. Maybe against a Queen of Pentacles, or you're this Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords can be like also like um, I see like that being like almost like internet stuff, things coming through the internet, information coming in through the internet, people looking at you, somebody seeing like how stable you are or you are having to protect your self with social media and stuff like that or the advice is to protect yourself. Somebody on the outside looking in. Somebody feels alone and is watching you. I feel like someone's spying on you, Virgo. Yeah, there's that information again. There's some sort of information, truths coming out, uh, temperance to... Almost like this information is like the missing link. It's like what you needed to know. Queen of Swords. Virgo. What's this? Someone from your past maybe coming in to say a few words to you. Like, I feel like the negative side of this queen of swords. And there you are up in your head again. You can't get out of your head. You guys might be dealing with the air sign too. Gemini or Libra. Virgo. There's someone from your past here. Someone that maybe you took a long journey with. That you had some sort of history with. Some sort of long history with Virgo. Somebody that might be communicating with you about how they're so hurt. They're so hurt. But this person causes you a lot of mental anxiety. You might have had to protect yourself from this person, Virgo. It's like... It's like you escaped from this person before and the hermit you might have went into hermit mode been really really quiet but now i feel like this person or this person because you've been so quiet this person's looking for things on social media 
looking for information on you, seeing how good you're doing, that you're stable. There's that temperance card again, it came out for you. You want balance. I think this person sees, this person that you protected yourself from sees that you're balanced, you're stable, you're in a good position, you're the magician, you've, you've um, manifested a life for yourself, a very balanced life for yourself. You have manifested this life, okay? You have done the work. King of Pentacles. Some of you guys actually might be with a partner. There are you guys protecting yourselves, Virgo. Some of you guys are really like looking out and watching, like on the watch. You guys know that this person is watching this old person, this old situation. You might be with a partner right now that brings you balance and stability, a perfect partnership, Virgo. For some of you guys might actually be with a perfect partner. You guys are happy doing your thing and this freaking person here, oh, this person is nasty. This person, this person can verbally be um, very aggressive and like to start fights. And I feel like you guys have cut this person off. And this person is searching on social media trying to find out information on you. They might see like, you guys might be doing something creative, but it says shine bright like a candle. Like I feel like they see you shining. You see, they see you glowing. They see you having a beautiful life. They see you with your material world doing just fine. I feel like it's driving them crazy. This person caused you a lot of stress, but it's like, you don't want this. That situation exhausted you. There might be some sort of severing of energies. There's the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving. Maybe this energy was slow to be cut off. King of Swords. I feel like you guys, when you guys were together, this old person and you, I feel like you guys did nothing but fight. You guys invested a lot of time together, but you guys fought and fought and fought. It was not good. You guys butted heads all the time, Virgo. All the time. Yeah, this person gave you a lot of burdens you were carrying from this person. They had a lot of secrets hidden from you. They might have put you in third-party situations, Virgo. Oh. Oh, look, the emperor. This person might have been like a narcissist, emperor in a negative light, emperor in reverse, or, yeah. This person might have belittled you, put you down, been abusive in some way, shape, or form. It's got the rams on the top here, like button heads, justice. person might be finding a way to communicate with you, talk to you. You guys might have a sense this person might be watching or coming in that there's good luck and fortune in this situation. So don't be worried. Okay. This person might be coming back and saying, I love you. I still have love for you. Shuffle again for Libra. person stressed you out leaving this person brought in success for you this person also might be trying to come back and communicating saying i've i've done the work i'm a better i'm an improved person take me back and you're like i remember how long that freaking journey was and i feel like this might be a last chance to like sever ties with this person there's the moon card again. Things being illuminated. Making a final decision. There you go, Virgo. 
I feel like you guys are making a final decision to cut ties. Yeah, because this person caused you nothing but a broken heart. And there's your death card at the bottom. And then here, putting distance between you guys because you guys are on a different path to make you guys happy. There you go, Virgo. It's clarified everything that I had a feeling about. So keep going with your partner that you're with because it seems to be a, a, a blessed union here, a balanced union here. You guys complement each other very, very much. Um, and this old person that might be trying to communicate with you, talk to you, I think you guys are just like drawing the line and saying it's done, it's final, I'm not interested anymore, I've moved on, see ya, hasta la vista. And you guys might actually have to protect yourselves on social media, some of you guys actually might have to just block, 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 or actually remove like actual people that were in that circle, let me cut the deck again. Yeah, the Queen of Cups because you have love for somebody else right now. Ending of a chapter, beginning of a new one, the world card. Yeah. So do you. Do you, Virgo. And make sure you put your interests first, your interests in your new partner. Protect yourself. Protect yourselves on social media, guys. Watch out for your passwords and things like that and who you're associating, who this person is associating with, okay? And keep moving forward because you know that old journey that you guys – got out of the oh, tiring journey that you took. Um, now you're going to be able to finally just cut it all out and move towards your happiness. That was your reading for Valentine's Day, Virgo. I'll see you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also um, look for your, your moon, your rising, your Venus signs if this did not fit for some reason, okay?